Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We are studying this week from 1 Timothy chapters 1 and 2. We continue this week in chapter 1. Our reading is a little bit lengthy as we want to show a real contrast uh, in something that Paul says that I think people may take the wrong way. Beginning in verse 8, he says, chapter 1, verse 8, But we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person, but for the lawless and insubordinate, for the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for fornicators, for sodomites, for kidnappers, for liars, for perjurers. And if there's any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. You know, one might read this and think Paul was high and mighty. You know, Paul, it's easy for you to sit up on your high horse and read down these judgments of condemnation on other people and talk about how these people are just bad and horrible. And you know, a lot of times when we talk to people about the gospel, I'm afraid we may come off that way as though we are somehow righteous and holy and they are horrible and sinners. And we set ourselves apart by contrasting self, ourselves as not sinners and them as sinners. But you know, if you just keep reading, you see that Paul doesn't do that. Paul doesn't say, look, the gospel says all these people who do these things contrary to the will of God uh, are violators of the law and violators of God's will. But hey, I'm so great, I never had to worry about that. Look instead at what Paul says beginning in verse, verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Although I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man. But I obtained mercy, because I did it ignorantly and in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord Jesus, of our Lord, was exceedingly abundant with faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. However, for this reason, I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long suffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. You know, Paul didn't say, hey, you bunch of sinners, you're horrible, and I've never been like you, and, and, and you need to be more like me because I was always perfect. It's exactly the opposite. Paul says, look, I am the perfect example of somebody who was as opposed to Jesus as you could be. I was a persecutor. I was insolent. I was the chief of sinners, he says. And yet Jesus chose me to set the example that, hey, if I can be saved, anybody can be saved, including you. Paul's message isn't about trying to say, hey, you're bad and you can never be saved. It's to say, hey, you're a violator of the will of God. But God loves you anyway and wants to save you through Jesus Christ. And that needs to be our message. We are all sinners and we can all be saved through Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.